Sirens and flashes filled the air over Tel Aviv and other cities in Israel. The Israeli military estimated Iran launched around 200 ballistic missiles at the country and escalated the conflict in the Middle East. We dealt with such a threat before in the past and we will deal with it now. Launching towards Israel from Iran will have consequences. Israeli officials said many of the missiles were intercepted by the country's defenses, but there were some impacts. There were no immediate reports of casualties. The United States promised to stand by its ally, with both countries saying Iran would face consequences for the strike. This is totally unacceptable, and the entire world should condemn it. Uh, initial reports suggest that Israel, with the active support of the United States and other partners effectively defeated this attack. America recently beefed up military forces in the region, including sending more troops and resources to the area. Tensions hit another boiling point in the last week after Israel strikes against Beirut and a new Israeli ground operation was launched in Lebanon, targeting the Iranian-backed militant group Hezbollah. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu released a video this week calling on Iranians to reject the current regime and said change was coming. When Iran is finally free, and that moment will come a lot sooner than people think, everything will be different. Our two ancient peoples, the Jewish people and the Persian people, will finally be at peace. Iran launched a missile and drone attack earlier this year that saw a majority of the 300 projectiles intercepted and shot down amounting to minimal damage. We have made clear that there will be consequences, severe consequences for this attack, and we will work with Israel to make that the case. Iran promised, quote, crushing attacks if Israel retaliated, with Israeli officials saying they have their own plans and they'll respond when they want to. Any response could dictate the course of the war in the Middle East. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.